Hey everybody, Dave here. Hope you're having an awesome day. So this week, we're talking about little mini t-shirts and arms. Come on, let's do it. Alright, so if you watched the last update, we had just finished the CAD work for this. And so here's the 3D print. And I just wanted to show you um, kind of how it comes off. So there are a couple of little bumps where the supports were so there is some cleanup work and it's actually fairly simple really what I'll do is I'll just take an exacto knife and just kind of trim them and they pop off and then I do a little bit of sanding so we did this in four parts we've got the upper arm and then we've got the forearm here that slides in there actually uh, we'll just use a piece of polystyrene to put a joint into that for the time being and then the hand we did in two little parts here so it will actually open and close and this is kind of fun um, the support is actually small enough that it works as a little peg for this so all right there we go and then that will slide right into there and that moves around like that all right so that's the arm not cleaned up yet then I got this guy and there's that polystyrene tubing so that bends really nice and moves and the wrist rotates so that's pretty cool and a quick little paint job on it so that is the arm kind of finished up looking pretty sweet so my mom has been working on some 1 -sixth scale clothing and this is kind of the first round of clothes that she was making and so I was messing around with weathering them um, I cut this out on my little vinyl cutter and it's just iron on transfer and this is kind of fun this is uh, weathered with some pastels and with tea um, this one is weathered with just old acrylic paint water just like gray black um, and then maybe a, a couple little pastel shavings and this one is also just more of like acrylic and some powder so I've been playing around with the different weathering techniques that's been super fun but something that you'll notice is these collars she's kind of working through the different patterns and so she's actually kind of kind of dialed it in and got these really nice collars they fit great on a 1 6 scale figure and I got a brand new one here that I need to weather up so you can actually check out my Instagram I got a couple of uh, fun little videos on that and then check this out she even made this pair of pants here and let me zoom out just a little bit and so I went ahead and weathered those up as if you know they the knees are kind of grunged out and I put some grime and dirt at the bottom there so in looking at this it kind of made us think we're like hey what if the robot actually had clothes so let me set that up really quick and I'll show you all right so here it is with some clothes and as we were playing with the weathering and you know painting we were kind of looking at this going man that's kind of cool it gives these robots some personalities so we're actually talking about our narrative and our story and how we're building these things so this is an interesting direction not quite sure where we're going to go with it just yet but um Nonetheless, we've got some super cool clothes, and I'm really looking forward to weathering up some more of these. I'm curious, let me know in the comments below uh, if anybody's interested in purchasing something like this. Um, they're handmade, custom made, um, and they're pretty cool. So just curious if this is something that people would be interested in. I have no clue. All right, the clothes are turning out super awesome, and I want to give a huge shout out to my mom. She is amazing at this kind of stuff, and she's self-taught, and uh, if you want to check out a cameo, she had a cameo in my custom Boba Fett that I made. I'll put a link below, so mom, great work here. And what's cool about this is it's starting to kind of develop the narrative of our robots. We're thinking, man, it'd be really cool if they had a lot of articulation and they could they could pose and move, and, and maybe not so much maybe they're not battle bots anymore maybe the narrative is with these clothes and the personality that they have maybe it's like this underground like subculture kind of punk vibe where maybe they're um you know they, they play music and they skate and they kind of jam out so 
we're kind of thinking through the idea of like what is the narrative of these robots and uh, almost like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vibe <laughs> maybe I'm not quite sure and that's kind of the fun of it we we don't really know exactly where to take this next so what we're doing is as a team we're sitting down and talking through the storyline and like what is the purpose of this and how do these clothes give these robots personality and, and is that the right direction um, is there a better way to build the body where it has more articulation and do we think through that is there a smarter way to do that these are all processes that we're going through and to be honest we don't know exactly what we're doing just yet but we're making progress we got heads we've got arms and we've got little mini clothes so hey as always it's a great day to be a toy nerd have a great one